In our Health Watch this morning, every year we hear about amazing medical breakthroughs that will make our lives better. New ways of treating chronic diseases, new discoveries that can extend our lives and improve our quality of life. 2009 will be no different as researchers continue to track genes, create medications, and find new ways to fight infection. Francis Largeman Roth is senior editor at Health Magazine, and he, she's here to tell us exactly what's in store in medicine in 2009. Good to see you. Happy holidays. Happy holidays, Chris. So much went on in 2008. Now 2009 uh, enters with such promise. Um, let's talk about um, fighting obesity, which is one of the key issues in 2008. And now parents, everyone is really kind of focusing in on obesity, both with the young kids, the older folks, what are some of the breakthroughs that we we'll Absolutely. See? Well, leptin is the really big buzzword. Leptin was actually discovered in the 90s. It's a hormone. Originally, doctors thought that it might be able to actually prevent weight gain or fight obesity. It can't do that. We've discovered that. But new research shows that it has promising results as far as treating people who've already lost weight, so preventing the new weight gain. And it, it seems to control um, self-control centers in the brain. That's how it works. Uh, breast cancer, we see to hear it seemed like at least in 2008 there was each month there was a new development and it almost seemed like there was so much clutter that you almost got confused as to all the breakthroughs that were there in 2009 what can we see what are the, the, the major breakthroughs in three breast cancer? big ones one is the gamma ray camera and that can detect really really tiny tumors so it's three times better than a regular mammogram and that's great for women with uh, dense breast tissue and also those who are particularly at risk and then we're also looking at black cohosh black cohosh Cohosh is an herbal supplement that has been shown to have some promise in actually stopping the growth of certain breast cancer cells. But the caveat with that is that it's only been tested in mice and uh, it may interfere with certain types of chemotherapy. The third really big one, which is very exciting for a lot of women, usually radiation takes about six weeks, six weeks of yep. treatment. But the new, there's a new one-stop radiation that's done right at the time of breast cancer surgery. And so it actually has shown to be as effective as a six-week treatment. What a relief to be able to see that it's just a one-shot deal rather than that prolonged Absolutely. radiation treatments. Um, some of this breast cancer research has led to breakthroughs in colon cancer research as well. That's right. So we now know that certain types of genes uh, create certain types of breast cancer. And so we've been able to personalize treatment. Same thing is happen happening with colon cancer. It used to be that we treated everybody the same way. And now, due to a discovery of a gene mutation, we're able to actually customize that treatment. This I could not believe. More hospital patients actually die from staph infections than they do from AIDS on an annual basis. So what breakthroughs now to, to help curb some of these, like MRSA and some of these other staph right. infections? What exactly. are they doing? Exactly. MRSA, the superbug. There's a nasal gel that kills it on contact. And there are also new MRSA fighting stitches, which are amazing because they're treated with a virus that doesn't cause you any harm, but it kills MRSA on contact. And that's basically how it's basically contracted. It's the open, that's the right. open wounds, correct? That's right. And that's, and that's why it's so scary to go into a hospital setting because you may pick it up post-surgery. Okay, we all know how destructive Alzheimer's disease is. Any breakthroughs there? There are. Uh, actually, researchers in England are taking animal embryos and they're injecting them with human genetic code. And what that's doing is creating the possibility of, you, of using stem cells to treat brain cancer, or brain um, diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. And finally, aging skin. This is going to be the one that gets me. We've oh, heard yeah. for years about <laughs> products that can slow down the aging process. Some work, some don't. But what is the, the big breakthrough here with okay. the skin? Okay, carbon dioxide laser resurfacing. It's a laser peel, but it's actually being shown to not just have cosmetic benefits, but increase collagen production. Collagen is what makes us look so youthful. Yeah. Also, Retin-A and hyaluronic acid injections like Restylane and Juvederm. Is, so they don't just fill, they actually promote collagen. And is this one of those years where you say, you know, we've been on the cusp for so long, but this could really, I this could really be a breakthrough yeah, year. Yeah, it's a breakthrough year. And, you know, with everything else going badly with the economy, yeah. it's something to look forward to. We need some, some promise out there. Francis Largeman Roth, senior editor at Health Magazine. Happy holidays. Best of Happy luck with holidays. the pregnancy. Thank Seven you. months along, got two more months to go. <laughs> Good luck to you. And for a look ahead at the top health trends for 2009, go to our partner in health coverage, webmd.com, and search for 2009.